It's a lot of fun to see Starship come to life. The average person has never really had an insight into the construction of a rocket like this before. The Falcon 9, a very dependable rocket that has made several missions to the International Space Station, propelled SpaceX into the public eye. It was considered the first rocket to achieve a flawless propulsion landing, although it is not big enough. That's where the Starship comes in. In today's video, we'll go through the Starship, what to expect from it, and more. Stay tuned until the end for a comparison of the Falcon 9 to the Starship. SpaceX has been flying Falcon 9, a rocket with a reusable booster, since 2010, and it has quickly become one of the most dominant launch vehicles in spaceflight. The next iteration Starship is a massive, completely reusable rocket system that might cost less and fly more frequently. Since 2019, the rocket has gradually emerged as a silvery sentinel made of stainless steel that reflects the sunshine of the Gulf of Mexico launch location in South Texas. The testing of Starship prototypes has resulted in fiery failures, with a successful flight and landing scheduled for May 2021. Mr. Musk predicts that the Starship will reach orbit for the first time in 2022, following a succession of premature announcements and delays. Falcon 9 Let's talk about the Falcon 9 for a moment before we get into the video. The Falcon 9 is the only US rocket completely licensed for delivering humans to the International Space Station, and the only commercial rocket to take humans into orbit, with the most launches as of January 2021, among all US rockets currently in service. Falcon is a privately developed family of three launch vehicles, manufactured in the United States by SpaceX, Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy. Falcon 9 was created to compete with the Delta family of launchers by being able to lift payloads of up to 8,300 kilograms, 18,300 pounds, into geostationary orbit. Typical Falcon 9 missions include cargo delivery and crewed flights to the International Space Station, ISS, with the Dragon and Dragon 2 capsules. The launch of communication satellites and Earth observation satellites, the Geostationary Transfer Orbits, GTO, and Low Earth Orbits, LEO, some of which are at a polar inclination, and the launch of communication satellites and Earth observation satellites to geostationary transfer orbits, GTO, and low Earth orbits, LEO. On March 18, 2022, a group of 53 Starlink satellites weighing a total of 16,250 kilograms, 35,830 pounds, were launched into a 300-kilometer, 190-kilometer orbit, making it the heaviest payload ever launched into LEO. However, you might be questioning why we need a Starship, since the Falcon 9 is so capable in terms of size and capability. It's worth noting that Starship is a vehicle system, maybe even a family. You might even brand it the Starship Launch System, or SLS. However, we will see a variety of variations for various goals. The Starship is the second stage of a two-stage spacecraft designed to accomplish this. The Starship is the most essential component, with all the cargo and crew within, but it's stacked atop the Super Heavy initial stage. In summer 2021, SpaceX stacked the two stages for the first time. Starship the Starship is over 400 feet tall when fully built, higher than 120 Wall Street. It's also taller than NASA's Apollo era Saturn V rocket, which sent American astronauts to the moon. According to Mr. Musk, the Starship will be nearly twice as powerful as the Saturn V. The Starship has a larger diameter than most other orbital spacecraft, at 30 feet, which allows it to transport large amounts of cargo or possibly a large number of people. The Starship is launched into orbit on a massive rocket booster, known as the Super Heavy. After passing through the rigors of Earth's atmosphere, the two halves of the spaceship separate at the edge of space. According to SpaceX, Super Heavy is required to get the spaceship out of Earth's gravitational well, with enough fuel to reach its destination. Because of the lesser gravity, the Starship may then go to its target, such as Mars, and then launch itself back into space without using the Super Heavy. The Starship is totally reusable, however, the Super Heavy component is still up for debate. Although SpaceX has grown rather proficient at landing Falcon 9 boosters, this rocket is massive in comparison. Without the Super Heavy, the Starship stands 160 feet tall, 50 meters, and has a diameter of 30 feet, 9 meters. This gives it a lot more area than the Falcon 9, which has a diameter of 12 feet. The Dragon stands 20 feet, 6.1 meters tall, and corresponds to the Starship element of Starship. The Starship is powered by six Raptor engines that were 3D printed and provide 5,550 kN of thrust. Three of the engines are meant to be used at sea level, while the other three are meant to be used in a vacuum. They employ liquid oxygen and subcooled liquid methane as propellants. On the other hand, the Super Heavy boasts a massive 33 Raptor engine, presently 29 in the prototype. These will all be sea level variations, with a combined liftoff thrust of 74,000 kN for the stack rocket. When will the Starship be launched into space? Five prototypes of the upper portion of the Starship have been test launched to a height of 6 miles by SpaceX. Only the last prototype landed successfully. The others detonated either on the ground or in flight. However, reaching orbit, the next chapter in Starship's chronology has been slower to begin. SpaceX has to demonstrate its Super Heavy rocket in order to reach orbit. It will be propelled by dozens of Raptor rocket engines, significantly more than three that have flown on earlier Starship prototypes. Mr. Musk's last prediction was for some time after February for Starship's maiden orbital test flight, which has been pushed back many times. What will Starship's mission be? 
The benefits of developing a larger rocket are obvious, heavier payloads and longer range. The Starship may be able to lift 250 tons into low Earth orbit in an expendable configuration, or 150 tons with vehicle recovery once it's completed. To increase the range, SpaceX is working on orbital refueling. Since the Starship was the BFR, CEO Elon Musk has talked about Mars trips, but it isn't the sole use case. The very first Starship launches will most likely be focused on activities on the Moon and in Earth's orbit. The Dear Moon Orbital Lunar Mission, funded in part by Japanese billionaire Yusaka Mazawa, should be one of the first. Mazawa and his finger-picked fellow passengers will be sent into orbit by SpaceX in 2023, but the date is becoming more implausible. The Starship will also allow SpaceX to deploy bigger clusters of Starlink broadband satellites. The Falcon 9 can now launch 60 microsatellites into orbit at once, but the firm intends to have a network of 12,000 satellites in the near future. Depending on the regulatory approval, this number may grow by tens of thousands. Much to the worry of astronomers, the Starship's increased capacity will hasten this process. The Starship has piqued NASA's curiosity as well. The human landing system, HLS, for the next Artemis lunar landing will be provided by SpaceX. The timing for these missions is still unknown, since they rely on the long-delayed space launch system, SLS, and new spacesuits, both of which are running late. The HLS Starship is expected to rendezvous with the Orion capsule in lunar orbit, where the crew would be transferred to SpaceX's vehicle. Once surface activities are completed, they will drop to the moon and return people to orbit. Blue Origin, led by Jeff Bezos, attempted to use legal procedures to prevent SpaceX from receiving the contract, but they failed. That doesn't appear to be an issue anymore, because NASA is providing more contracts. What difficulties are on the horizon? The rocket system's development and construction have been visible at SpaceX's open-air facilities in Boca Chica, Texas, just miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. The region is known as Starbase by the firm. Remote cameras have been placed nearby by space enthusiast media companies, attempting to make it one of the most tightly watched engineering spectacles of a company. It is known for moving fast and pushing breakneck development timelines. The company's rocket development ethos has been put on full display by dramatic explosions, fights with federal authorities, and some major successes – fly, crash, learn, repeat. When is the Starship projected to reach the moon. NASA awarded SpaceX $2.9 billion in 2021 to create a version of Starship for the agency's first two moon missions as part of Artemis, a multi-billion dollar human mission to return people to the lunar surface. The idea is to use the moon as a testbed for future Mars expeditions. The first Starship moonshot will be a demonstration of the ship's capacity to land on and return from the moon without the presence of people. NASA astronauts will go on the next expedition, which is scheduled for 2025. However, this expedition will confront several technological challenges of its own. NASA must first successfully test another massive rocket, the long-delayed space launch system, in order to send humans to the moon. The huge rocket system will launch the Orion crew capsule into lunar orbit, where it will connect with the Starship and transfer the astronauts before heading to the lunar surface. Starship vs. Falcon 9 Let's talk about what the similarities are first before we get into the battle at hand. The most obvious resemblance, we believe, is that they are both created by SpaceX. They each have a reusable first stage with legs and grid fins that run on super-chilled liquid fuel. Distinction The rocket engine, or in this case the rocket engines, is at the very core of every rocket. The Falcon 9 had nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage, and a single vacuum-optimized Merlin MVAC on the second stage, as the name indicates. The Falcon 9's Merlin engines are open cycle, which means they incorporate a miniature baby rocket engine known as a gas generator. Unfortunately, Elon has never been known to stick to his deadlines, and there is currently no evidence that the Starship will reach its target this year. But let us know your thoughts on the Starship in the comments area below, and if you think it will be able to fulfill its deadline this year, fulfill 